when you begin to look at your past, give an interpretation that empowers you. That's where I used to be. That's not where I am now. I'm growing. Now I want you to think about in your mind right now, think about some particular event or act in your life that you feel very bad about. That you really regret that that took place. If you had to do over again, you would do it differently. With that there, I want you to see yourself in your mind's eye and say to yourself, I love myself unconditionally and I forgive myself. If I knew better, I would have done better. I mean, you better forgive somebody. <laughs> None of us are perfect. All of us have made some mistakes. And it wasn't easy. It's not easy forgiving, am I right? It's hard. See, everybody won't forgive. They say, I forgive, but I don't forgive now. Go so you can grow. Reinterpreting our past. Understanding and knowing that we can move from where we are. That we can begin to design the kind of life that empowers us, that gives us happiness, that enable us to be on top of who we are. Knowing that as we begin to explore new horizons, and new vistas in life that as we begin to, to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and dis disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes what? Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. And there's still some things that will happen to you that will catch you on the blind side that you did not anticipate. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. You'll be able to get to your feet again, be on the ropes, but you have a fast recovery rate when you work on yourself. Read inspirational books, of course. Listen to tapes that begin to inspire you. And stay around people who will empower you. Because when you start looking at giving your best at all times, that's not easy. But when you are committing yourself to doing something, those are the standards that you set for yourself because that's who you are. If you're working on a job where you're miserable, they're not paying you what you're worth. You don't like the work, you don't like the people, and you're dissatisfied. If you have decided to continue to take a paycheck, you owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. Live each day with integrity. Don't try and get over in life. Don't try and cheat. See, a lot of people like to try and cheat. I was with a friend of mine and we were, went into a service station to get some gas. They gave me back too much change. I discovered it down the road and I was turning around going back. I said, you're a fool. Hey man, what when they don't give people enough change? You think they flag the people down? I said, I'm not responsible for them. I'm responsible for me. I went back and I told the guy, excuse me, sir, you gave me a $20 bill too much. I gave it to the guy, the guy just took it and walked away, didn't say thank you. The guy in the car laughed said, I told you, you fool! I'd have kept that. I said, I'm not responsible for his attitude. I don't care, knowing that he would not say thank you, I would still give it back to him. Because my image of myself says, hey, you don't take something that doesn't belong to you. That's the way my mother raised me. Don't try and cheat, say, well, you know, this little bit won't count. Everything counts. Hey, thank you.